Hi everyone, I'm Gordon Bonus with Daily Extra. Today I'm talking with the star of a very important and powerful Canadian film called Hole. Uh, with me is star of the film, Ken Harrower. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for, for having me here. Great. Uh, Hole tells the story of a character named Billy that you play. Uh, who goes through some extraordinary lengths to find sex, sex and intimacy even. Yeah. How did that story resonate with you? It resonated very well. Um, I've, been, I've been openly out since 96, but I knew at age about 10 or 11 that I, w I was gay, but after I came out, it's been, it's been pretty hard to find a partner or boyfriend. So I've had to spend a lot of time just looking for sex and in any or almost any way that I could. And as a disabled gay guy, um, at least for me it's been hard. And so I've had to go through emotionally, I've had to go through a lot of anger, bitterness, loneliness, um, the desire to be loved as a, as a human disabled gay guy. Okay, so why is doing a story that combines sexuality and disability so mm -hmm. important to you? Why did you make mm -hmm. this one? I never, it didn't start that way. I mean, I was, I met Ken three years ago on a corporate video shoot and he, he made me think of sexual, sexuality and disability. Um, he came in with this pride flag sticking out of his wheelchair and, you know, you meet him, he's just such an outgoing and um, positive guy and you forget about the wheelchair and you just see him as a person and you know, I don't see him as someone that's disabled or gay or anything. He's just a human being. Um, and it just made me think of sexuality and disability. And over time, it kind of stayed with me. And then when I got to writing something, it's not that I wanted to write about this topic. It's just sort of what was in me. And I wrote a few scripts. Um, they were all bad until it got to what whole became now. So it was just kind of, it came sort of out of nowhere, like I know where it came from, but it was never the intention to speak about this topic. There's no, there's hardly any depictions of disability in film to begin with, let alone yeah. a disabled character with a sex life. Was it important for you to contribute to? Yes. Um, I strongly believe that all disabled people should and need to be seen as as sexual human beings. Um, our society likes to see disabled people as poor and helpless and not able to do anything. But that's not true. Disabled people are 
as horny as anybody else. Um, the way they buy gender. Speak a little bit more about the writing process and Ken's contribution. Um, I mean, Ken was sort of the spark of the idea, but it had, like, it wasn't based on his life. I didn't know him well or anything. I just met him on this video. I can't say I really thought about him as I was writing, and it was never really the intention to cast him. Um, but when we came around to casting, we did auditions. We auditioned him, and, you know, he was the right person for the part. Actually, the the role was supposed to be for someone much younger. It, and when you did the casting, w was it only disabled actors, or was were there was it a wide casting call? It was a wide casting call. I did reach out to like disability arts organizations. I think one or two people auditioned, um, but the rest were like fully able-bodied. You auditioned for the part, and you were up against some fully yeah. abled actors, and you yeah. won the part. That must have been a a, um, a good achievement. Yep. But I'm, I'm also happy that the person who was chosen was actually disabled and not somebody who played a disabled people, a person. Because we need real disabled actors to be part of the industry. And we as the industry, we need to represent real society as a whole. And that includes people with disabilities. <laughs>